Now, we're, we're asked to find the y-intercept. That's where x is going to be equal to 0. So we can sub in for x equals 0. And so this would be 0 squared plus 6 times 0 plus 5. And 0 squared is 0. And 6 times 0 is 0. So all we have left on the right-hand side, if we simplify, is 5. So this means that the y-intercept is going to be at... 0, 5. So that's one of the points that we know um, is going to be on our, our on our parabola, or this parabola is going to pass through the point 0, 5. Now, for find, determining the x-intercept, remember we have to let y equal 0 and then factor the quadratic. So this is going to be x squared plus 6x plus 5. And so when we factor this quadratic, we're going to end up with then uh, what we're looking for here is two numbers that have a sum of 6 and a product of 5. And the two numbers then are going to be 1 and 5 because 1 times 5 is 5 and 1 plus 5 is 6. So this is going to factor to be x plus 5 times x minus, or sorry, x plus 1. And we're going to end up with two roots. One is going to be x equals negative 5 because negative 5 plus 5 is 0 and x plus 1 has to be equal to 0 so that means that our other x-intercept is going to be negative 1 so there are two points where this uh, graph is going or this parabola is going to cross the x-axis one is at negative 5 0 and the other is going to be at negative 1 0 so now we have a series of points, and the first point we've got to, we can put these intercepts on our graph, and our x-intercept, sorry, our y-intercept is 0, 5 from before, so we know that our parabola is going to cross at 0, 5, and we also know that the intercepts are going to be negative 5, 0, and also negative 1, 0. So it's going to cross here. And also going back to the first question, we found that the coordinates of the vertex are going to be negative 3, negative 4. So if we go to negative 3, negative 4 and put a point, so negative 3 and negative 4, this will be our vertex. So if we're going to sketch our parabola, we could actually use the axis or the symmetry here. Then there's our parabola for y. y equals x plus 3 squared minus 4. And so the points that you should have here are your vertex, which was negative 3, negative 4, our y-intercept, which was 5, 0, or sorry, 0, 5. Our x-intercept, which was negative 1, 0, and also negative 5, 0.